everyone, so I'm back here with another video. This round I'm going to be talking about the Pokemon Sun and Moon special demo version that was just released today. Uh, by the time I post this video, obviously it's going to be the next day after. Uh, but it took me a little while to play through it. Uh, there wasn't too much to really experience in the game. It just gave you a little taste of what is to come in the following month. Uh, but I'll pretty much just let you guys know what you can sort of expect out of it. Uh, now, while I'd like to show some actual footage from the demo, I can't really do that because I have no means of capturing that footage and then displaying it here. So, sorry about that, but hopefully my descriptions are enough. So, in the demo version, pretty much the only reason to play through it is to get the special uh, battle bond, I think that's what they called it, uh, Greninja, it's the Ash Greninja uh, modeled after the one from the cartoon uh, where he sort of merges with Ash in some appearance. Uh, not to say that he like mixes with Ash but his uh, face sort of morphs to look more like Ash. Kind of a weird thing, I don't know why that's really a thing. but. Ash Greninja still looks kind of cool, and it's nice to get that as your sort of demo uh, incentive, I suppose, there. So the thing is, with that Greninja, he starts out at level 36, and you can level him up a little bit during the gameplay of the demo, but then starting November 18, of course, if you go ahead and purchase the full version of the game, you can just transfer it over, and you can also transfer over uh, another item that you get in the game, but it's just a nugget. Uh, the only reason to really have the nugget is to then sell it for uh, in-game currency. So it, it's a nice little bonus to have, but it would have been nicer to include something else as well. Uh, it lets you sort of experience some of the map itself and this one town the one town that you start in does seem kind of reminiscent of yokai watch in that it is a much larger experience than you've gotten in any previous uh pokemon game uh the town is definitely much larger than you would have expected and that's just one single town other towns might be larger smaller who knows really but if this is an example of what is to be expected, definitely starting to lean more towards Yokai Watch in that sense. Now, one of the things I really wanted to see in this demo was the new riding feature, see how that works out, uh, because I really couldn't tell how it was going to work. Uh, if there was an item, if it's something like a TM move, or whatever it might be. So it turns out that it's an item, uh, it gets mapped to the Y button on your uh, 3DS and you just click on it and either, the one thing that they don't explain though is how the Pokemon become accessible. Now is it that as you're playing you get special Pokemon that are only available to ride? Do you have to find them in certain locations? or? Do you have to find or purchase the riding uh, setup so that you can then use that Pokemon to sort of just ride around on? Uh, it seems like instead of having, say, Rock Smash like they had in the past to break boulders, and uh, kind of similar to what they did in uh, X and Y, and I think it's also in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where you ride certain Pokemon and they sort of break boulders and stuff like that that's blocking the way. Uh, you can do that with these riding Pokemon, but it's still not exactly clear how you're going to gain access to these certain Pokemon. Hopefully it's just a matter of catching them, but if you have to do something else uh, to be able to then ride these Pokemon, it's kind of going to suck. Unless, of course, you can just say if you catch the Pokemon and then you just have the one set item, one key item, then that's all you're going to need. But not too certain how it's going to work on a Pokemon to Pokemon basis. Of course, there's only going to be a couple of Pokemon that you can ride, uh, but it seems like they're going to be replacing, say, the TM moves uh, for uh, Fly by having something like this. Definitely similar to how the Eon Flute uh, in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire 
uh, was used so then you can fly on Latios and Latias uh, across that sort of open world map kind of experience. I feel like something like that is definitely going to happen in Sun and Moon, uh, but no, like still not too certain how it's going to work out exactly. Uh, as for other stuff that I experienced during gameplay, uh, they did have a couple of areas where you could uh, go in grass and uh, encounter wild Pokemon, but they had it very limited to what Pokemon you might be able to see. Now you could catch a Pikachu, at least this is going off of my experience, uh, there were Pikachus, uh, I'm forgetting what, what some of these Pokemon are called, they're just kind of weird to me, but still trying to sort of get a hang of their names. Uh, there was a small bird, I think it was called like Pecky something. Uh, there was that little mongoose thing, uh, and a uh, rock ruff, I think was its name as well, the uh, uh, ground dog, whatever it is. Uh, those few Pokemon were shown uh, in the little demo area that you got, uh, but there were also a couple of other Pokemon that were shown off uh, during the sort of trial, the little test trial that they have you run through in the demo, uh, and it was just that um, that that weird dragon type with the weird scales and its uh, evolved form as well, uh, and you just had to go around with the I think it was called the Pokefinder. Uh, you go around, you take pictures of it, but then it sort of alerts it, and then it attacks you, and then you go through the whole battle sequence. Now, one little thing that I found very interesting that I very much so enjoyed, uh, it seemed that if you fought a Pokemon and then subsequently fought it again, uh, the lower screen would show you, well, where it usually shows you all your different attacks, that you have, of course, a maximum of four attacks uh, per Pokemon. That's four moves, I should say. Uh, underneath each and every move, it would tell you its effectiveness against the opposing Pokemon. So it would tell you if it was super effective, effective, um, not so effective. I forgot the exact terminology that they used. But basically, it'll help you out when playing the game. And definitely, say, if you're in the same area grinding over and over again, uh, it'll be much easier to sort of let you know uh, what, I suppose, what attack to just spam over and over again for the most effective uh, result. Uh, the other thing that they had uh, in the lower screen as well that I found very interesting and uh, something that they probably should have done many games ago, but they sort of just never acknowledge this uh whenever a pokemon uses a move that changes the status condi uh, conditions uh sorry not the status conditions oh well, your stats basically when it changes your stats uh lowers your defense lowers your attack lowers your speed uh through various different uh moves when that is done you don't really know well how much of a significant change is there uh, in your Pokemon or in the opposing Pokemon. Uh, now on the lower screen, it shows both your Pokemon and the opposing Pokemon and a little plus uh, over their uh, icons. So then when you click on the plus, it'll show you uh, more information about what exactly is happening to the Pokemon. And I think that little tweaks like that have definitely... Well, are definitely going to go ahead and help, uh, especially newcomers, uh, pick up the game much quicker than in previous generations. Now, there's still a lot of stuff that I'm uncertain about, uh, a lot of stuff that I'd like to see more of. Uh, of course, we all want to see more, uh, considering that it's just about a month until the game releases. Actually, it's exactly a month until the game releases, so we are all anxious to see more. Uh, I wish there had been more Pokemon to sort of experience in the demo, but it's not really the case. And uh, even for the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire demo, uh, there was only that one Metagross uh, that you would get as a special gift for playing the demo. So 
it's not really different from what we've experienced in the past, but it's still nice to get a pretty exclusive uh, Pokemon out of the whole setup. Now, I highly recommend that you do go ahead and play the demo version. It's free to play. Uh, it gives you a taste of what is to come. That's, of course, the point of a demo. Uh, and you do, again, get a free gift out of it as well. So, I highly recommend it. Uh, there's plenty of stuff there. Uh, to sort of get your mind going as to what might be in the final product as well. So just go ahead, play it, get hyped for the game, uh, enjoy it, and hopefully you enjoy the game as well once it comes out in a month. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And also linked in the description below is a link to my 500 subscribers contest. Check that out as well if you'd like. And that's it. See ya.